Lastly, I would like to thank everyone here from various neighborhoods and organizations and businesses within the San Diego community for their support on this study. The San Diego Military Advisory Council, or SDMAC, is proud to present the SDMAC Shipbuilding and Repair Ecosystem Study. SDMAC commissioned this study as a complement to our annual SDMAC Military Economic Impact Study to highlight the mutually beneficial relationship and the significant economic impact that exists between the military and the San Diego region with an acute focus on San Diego's shipbuilding and repair industry. It's an industry that packs a huge benefit for our economy, our families, and our communities, yet it's an industry that often goes unnoticed. Located largely among San Diego's working waterfront, the shipbuilding and repair industry is producing large, ocean-going ships that encompass world-leading innovation and technology. This is the same industry that repairs our Navy ships, ensuring tightened homeland security and confidence abroad. It's an industry that actively cares for our communities and the environment as demonstrated through energy saving initiatives, community cleanups, and various partnerships. It's an industry that employs not just individuals, but families. These are people who live, work, and play within San Diego County. Bottom line, it's an industry that San Diego is fortunate to have and that we must never take its presence for granted. I would like to thank Point Loma Nazarene's Fermanian Business and Economic Institute for conducting this study and to the many partners who provided information. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Lynn Reeser, Chief Economist for the Fermanian Business and Economic Institute to unveil and explain the results of the study. Lynn. Thank you, Paul. Good morning to all of you. I'd first like to emphasize that this is very much a team effort and like to recognize three of the members of our team who are here today, Kathy Gallagher, Paul Gentry, and Tom Hale. The shipbuilding and repair industry is one of San Diego's most valuable sectors. This is true in terms of the jobs, the incomes, and its overall economic impact. Let me summarize some of the key findings of our study of this important industry. First of all, in terms of jobs. Last year, if you look at the key players in the industry, the basic cluster employed about 12,000 employees. This comprised three essential groups. First, 6,000 employees worked for private sector companies who identify their primary business as shipbuilding and repair. Second, there are about 2,100 government workers comprising both civilians and military employees who provide intermediate repair, modernization, and oversight. And third, there are about 4,000 employees who work in the myriad of supply chain companies providing all kinds of goods. These goods include everything from pumps to seals to various services ranging from engineering to printing. In addition, you have to consider that of these 12,000 employees, they're all spending part of their incomes in goods and services produced within the overall region. And adding up all those jobs that are generated, there's an additional 5,000 employees involved. So rolling it all up, the shipbuilding, repair, building industry employs a total of 17,000 workers as of last year. The industry also is strong. It is now enjoying high backlogs and new orders both on the commercial and defense side. There's going to in fact be a, another glass breaking ceremony this Saturday at this shipyard. So as a result, this year we estimate that that 12,000 core industry will rise to about 4,000 employees, 14,000 employees, and the total economic impact will move from about 17,000 to 20,000 employees that are generated, again, both directly and indirectly in the overall region of San Diego. 
There's also a very important income impact. If you look at all of the wages and salaries involved, the incomes of business proprietors, you find that this industry generated last year about one and a quarter billion dollars of total personal income. This is also an industry that pays very well. We're always looking for good paying jobs in San Diego and shipbuilding and repair is one of those. The industry uses a lot of internal training programs to bring on board new staff members and then help them up the job ladder so that as a result, the average wage or salary in the industry is about one-fifth above the total you see throughout the overall San Diego region. Employees also generally live close to where they work. 94% of the industry's employees live within the county of San Diego, and more importantly, about three-fourths of them live either in the city of San Diego or in the South Bay communities. 17% of them live within two miles just of this basic shipbuilding area. And finally, in terms of the overall economic impact, if you look at all the direct and indirect effects, the industry contributes in terms of the total value of goods and services about one and three quarter billion dollars to the overall County of San Diego's economy. On balance then, shipbuilding and repair is a unique industry. It's very valuable and you find it only in a small number of communities or regions throughout the country. And looking as an economist at this industry, we are very fortunate actually in San Diego to have the value of its jobs, incomes, and overall economic impact. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Reeser. Now I'd like to invite our mayor, the Honorable Kevin Faulkner, to the podium. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, and, uh, and good morning. It's, it's delightful to be here to see these numbers and firsthand on things that I think all of us know and strongly support, which is how critically important the shipbuilding and ship repair industry is to San Diego and to this region. Good quality jobs for our families. The fact that we were working so closely with the United States Navy, protecting us for national defense. It is that unique synergy that makes us so unique and so critically important to our region, to our port, and indeed to, as I said, these thousands of jobs that San Diegans rely on. So we're proud to be here today with this, to celebrate this good news, but also to reinforce, of course, uh, that this is an industry that we do not take for granted, one that we collectively work together to ensure not only the prosperity that we have now, but continued growth into the future. And so I'm very proud to be here today. And I want to thank uh, Paul. I want to thank you for all your work, Dr. Reeser, for all of your uh, great work. My colleague on the City Council, Councilman David Alvarez. I want to thank um, uh, Captain Huck for our Southwest Regional Maintenance Center. Of course, Larry, for all of your great work with SD Mac, And of course, uh, NASCO for the great work that you do to help drive our economy and our jobs and all of our ship repair industry. You know, we talk a lot about driving our economy and our innovation economy. And we know how important that innovation is right here in our shipbuilding and ship repair industry. The work that we're doing here in San Diego is having ripples across the globe. We are some of the smartest folks and engineers and builders that you'll find on the planet to make this happen. And we celebrate that. Um, and, and I think all of us knows that this the, uh, the report today fills a critical gap in our knowledge about the economy and how important it is. It's very important to have numbers to back up what I think a lot of us have known for quite some time. And with this information, we can now work to create an environment where we're working together collaboratively to create more jobs, more careers, and more economic opportunities for San Diegans. And I think that's at the heart of this good news today. And to see these numbers, 1.75 billion, uh, that's helping to make our economy tick and to make it grow. And you know, thanks to some of the hard work of NASCO and others, we're seeing 12,000 people employed, 17,000 jobs in the San Diego economy, as Lynn just said, and of course, 20% of those pay above uh, average. And that's strongly the kind of job growth that we want to see. 
Uh, so this information is critically important. And now we, I think we are, all of our job is how do we take these dollars, put it to good use to grow and nurture this great industry and how important it is to California, as I said, to the country, but most importantly, particularly to us right here uh, in San Diego. So again, I wanna thank you for everybody, for everybody's hard work. The fact that we collaborate and work so closely together here in San Diego with SD Mac, with our port, with the city, the county, uh, all of us here, we know how important this industry, shipbuilding and ship repair has been to San Diego. We know how important it is that we all work together to see those benefits and to keep hardworking, great San Diego families employed. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mayor Faulkner. And now I'd like to welcome the council member who represents the district in which much of this industry resides, resides the Honorable David Alvarez. Thank you, Paul. Um, thank you, Mayor, and thank you all for being here this morning. Um, this is really important. The numbers obviously speak for themselves, but it's the stories behind those numbers that really I think are uh, to be celebrated as a result of these numbers. The, the families, the literally thousands of families who either live within the two mile radius or in the South County area or the South Bay area. All those families who really uh, have so much uh, to gain and that benefit from our industry. I think all of us have always said all along that we wanna see this industry grow. We wanna see not only maintain but grow because this is where the jobs in San Diego County, uh, this is where the, where the good jobs are at. And yes, we've got a very strong biotech sector. Everybody knows that story about San Diego. But this story about San Diego is just as important. It's, um, sometimes it's for a different, uh, different population, right? And we have to, we, we know that we are producing people who are well-educated engineers uh, who can go and work in, in, uh, in the biotech industry. There are also folks who maybe don't follow that as a career path. They don't have a four-year degree. And jobs like the ones here produce good, sustainable living opportunities for those individuals. And that's why this is important, and that's why this should be celebrated, because it's those individuals who could otherwise not find employment, at least not very good employment, in other areas, they find it here. That's why it's so important to the families that I represent here in San Diego, um, and all the people who get employed by the shipbuilding uh, uh, industry. So I wanna thank all of you who continue to support the industry as we continue to go, whether it's to Washington or other areas, to try to make sure that uh, San Diego continues to be the place where ship repair and shipbuilding happens into the future. I want to thank all the, all the companies, BAE Systems, uh, NASCO, all the big ones and the smaller ones, Continental Maritime, all of them for being such great partners. In addition um, to the Navy, um, Captain Smith here at 32nd Street or the others, really, really, uh, we couldn't do this without the partnership of everybody around. There's so much more I know we can do and we will continue to be strong in our efforts to maintain San Diego, the place where we build the future, future ships and we repair the ships of the future as well. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Council Member Alvarez. Now I'd like to introduce Captain Paul Birogel, Executive Officer, Southwest Regional Maintenance Center. Thanks, Paul. It's great to be here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm speaking on behalf of Captain Skip Huck, who's my commanding officer at Southwest Regional Maintenance Center, also known as SWARMIC. Uh, maybe the one instance where we just drew the acronym directly from the words and didn't create the acronym and then the words behind it. <laughs> so it, we've become increasingly good at pronouncing words without vowels. So, <laughs> SWARMIC, thank you. Thank you for the invitation to speak here. I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, Swarmick is about 2,300 sailors and civilians. Um, some of those comprise the numbers that were already talked about uh, earlier. And uh, we repair or oversee the repair of all the surface ships, submarines, and aircraft carriers and small boats uh, on the waterfront here. Um, if you can figure out the difference between a surface ship and an aircraft carrier, maybe you're a better person than me. But uh, they're, they're, we're, all, we're all in this together. Uh, all the gray holes and black holes and small holes you see uh, out here. Swarmick is, uh, oversees the repair and modernization of those vessels. And uh, last year, we did over a billion dollars in contracts, uh, most of them with our industry partners, uh, 
all along the waterfront here. And they did extremely well. Uh, the work is entirely done by private shipyards here. And uh, they keep the Pacific Fleet going to see with the best maintained and modern ships uh, in the world. That synergistic relationship, as was talked about um, by previous speakers, between the Navy, San Diego ship repair industry, and the city of San Diego is vital in achieving our mission across the world. Uh, ship repair and modernization is tough work. Uh, the people that do it are tough individuals. Um, we're competing with them right now as they visit the food truck down there. They're f awesome people, salt of the earth, the kind of people that uh, we need fixing our ships. They're proud of their work, and they're proud to watch the ships that they repair go to sea in the uh, bay right behind us. I spent, of my 25 years in the Navy, about five of them in ship repair, either shipyards or pier side availabilities, and uh, working with those partners, ensuring that the ships are best maintained and best uh, modernized has been uh, a pleasure. So sprinkled throughout this uh, report, you'll see faces of smiling shipyard workers, and that's awesome. Um, they don't always look like that when they're coming out of the bilge of a ship uh, having welded for several hours down there on pipes or fitting pipes or doing whatever. But when they uh, see the ships go down the bay, I think that smile is uh, pretty apparent. So uh, I was one of those cantankerous ship captains who demands everything right now for the cheapest price and the quickest amount of time. And uh, maybe dealing with guys like me is one of the toughest things our industry partners has to do. But uh, they do it well, and they do it to their best of ability, and it's appreciated. Uh, those ships, as I talked about, are not just fantastic weapon systems. They're our home when we go around the world, and we rely on them to take care of us and the sailors inside, which is extremely important to an operator like me. Um, to say that a sailor has a strong bond with their ship is putting it extremely understated. And hopefully our ship repair partners in industry feel the same way about the vessels that they do repair because they are our homes around the world. As the study states, uh, the Navy expects to bring more ships here, more um, exotic ships, and more numbers of ships. And uh, that migration will bring with it increased uh, demand signals for industry for capability and capacity. And it's uh, heartening to see industry uh, invest in infrastructure and capabilities to ensure that the uh, repair and modernization activity that's going on down here continues in earnest. In the end, for me, it comes down to quality. The ships need to be properly, um, work properly and be the most modern through their service life with the best possible equipment to protect the nations and the sa our nation uh, from her enemies and the sailors inside those hulls. San Diego's ship repair and modernization industry has done this. The study's conclusions reiterate that synergistic bond between the Navy industry and the city of San Diego. Uh, on behalf of Captain Huck, uh, our executive director, Tom Coombs, and all of Swarmick sailors and civilians, uh, thank you for your time and your commitment to our U.S. Navy ship repair and modernization. I uh, look forward to continuing our outstanding relationship. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Breerogel. Uh, as stated, the shipbuilding and repair ecosystem impacts every single neighborhood in San Diego, one way or another. It is especially intertwined with the local communities closest to the core of the industry, Barrio Logan and Logan Heights. Here today is a local business owner, Nicholas Aguilera. Nicholas is president of Diego and Son, a printing company that has served the Barrio Logan area, including this industry, for over 40 years. I'd like to invite Nicholas to the podium to say a few words about his relationship with our industry. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Good morning, my name is Nicholas Aguilera, and I'm president of Diego and Son Printing. We're a small business located here in Barrio Logan. Diego and Son has been doing business in Barrio Logan since 1972. The company was started by my dad, Diego, and his wife, my mom, Betty Aguilera, 
uh, in 1972, and we started as a four-person operation. Now my sister and I own the company, uh, and we are located at 2104 National Avenue. For as long as I can remember, the shipyards have played an important role in our business, and we appreciate their willingness to look local first within the barrio before taking their business elsewhere. The shipyards are an important part of our economy, our neighborhood, and our businesses. If the shipyards are strong, we're strong. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Nicholas, and thank you to everyone for being here today in support of this vital industry. As we heard today, the shipbuilding and repair industry is more than just a business. It's an ecosystem that represents San Diegans from all walks of life, and families too. It generates community growth through jobs and economic stability. And it feeds the foundation of enhanced homeland security and confidence. Thank you for being here today, and especially to our podium participants, we appreciate your support. Now I will open it up for a few questions.